Now for the last hour, we have been looking at all aspects of the housing market, taking a look at the various regions, what is driving the housing market. And Dave, despite the challenges that remain in the near term, one overall theme I really took from today's special is the fact that so many people are upbeat about what we would likely see at the end of 2023 going into 2024. And the advice that we got from some of the realtors at the start yeah. of the show, especially in Denver, saying that don't necessarily wait until the housing price drops right now. She's not expecting that to really happen happen anytime soon. Her advice to buyers was get in now. You can always refinance. She said date the rate, marry the house, saying you can always refinance when rates drop. So that was her advice today. I love that. I think what my big takeaway is here, the pandemic has, well, changed everything yeah. for everyone, but it really has remodeled the real estate market and it's changed the entire map. Mm -hmm. It's changed where we want to live and how we want to live. And primarily, it's put quality of life back where it ought to be on top of that list. And that's why we see maps just like this. But we see it across the country. Boise, Idaho. We see it in Phoenix, Arizona. We see it in Nashville, Tennessee. People are moving to places that their quality of life is now higher and they're also making the same renovations that make their quality of life and I too think the dire predictions will not come true low single digit home declines in 23 this market's resilient it's going to be fine yeah, affordability really the key driver here in the housing market going forward